All right, so a lot of videos online recommend shoving a pry tool in here and popping this out that way. Um, there's a little clip inside there that it could catch and go the wrong way. I had that happen on the back and it basically pulled out. So there's a better way to do it. What you need to do is go inside. By the way, this is the clip that I'm talking about right here. So it sits locked in with this ridge right here. And if you use a tool to pry it out, what happened to me is it flipped over the ledge and then started ripping this off. So unfortunately, um, the pry tool did not work. I don't know how much these things cost, but I would say it's worth it to just pull that apart, reach inside and do it right the first time. You can put everything back together while you're done with your first coat. All right, what you need to do is pop the hood. On the passenger side is the wiper reservoir. Right alongside that, you can reach down and you'll see your uh, side marker light right there. On the end nearest the back of the car is the hook and the plug. Towards the front of the car is the release that you need to press. You press in on the front of the release and then you push that release straight out the side of your fender. part I squeeze and allows this to come out a little bit and then you pull it forward so you gotta pull it this way. There we go. So basically the plug is a little bit too big so you just have to push it from the inside. You got this little opening. You gotta line up this plug with this little cutout right there. Now to remove this this little red tab right here, you gotta push this up. Okay, it becomes unlatched. And you take the tool and put it under here and pry up this piece, and then it pops right out. Just like that. And there it is. The other side's a little more difficult. The other side, you're gonna have to remove the uh, air cleaner. The rear is super simple. Just reach under the bumper, it's wide open, and again the release is towards the front of the car. Just push on the front of the release, once it pops, push it out through the fender. This one releases without any effort, so you can just pull the wiring and everything straight out, unplug it just like you did in the front, and then simply repeat the process on the other side. Alright, we got two layers of cleaning here. The first one is going to be some Windex, an ammonia based cleaner, scrub all the dirt and goo off anything that's sticky on here, road tar, the works. These are relatively clean. I'm using a microfiber at first, but because I don't have a brand new one, I'm going to use a paper towel second. When you're cleaning these and painting them, make sure the logos, the the, um, the Mopar lettering and everything is, is, is on the bottom because you want to paint the top ridge nice and dark. You don't want any of that to shine through when you're looking at the car top down. Okay, so the microfiber is really good at getting, basically grabbing all the dirt and ripping it off. Take a quick look at these, they're looking really nice. I'm wearing gloves because it's a really hot day out. I'm sweating. I don't want to get any grease or oils from my skin back on here. You don't need gloves for the VHD nice shades, but I'm just using them to keep my uh, keep my surfaces clean. All right, so I got a fresh towel. I'm gonna do one last scrub with the Windex. Get the edges, and then don't forget to clean inside the ridges here. We got some ridges right along these. Again, make sure the Mopar logo is reading correctly. I'm sorry, right side up, that's what I meant to say. All right, before we do the last step, I'm just gonna put some tape over the plugs just to keep any paint from settling in there and ruining the contacts. Just tape right over the plugs. Next step, clean it with some alcohol. Of 
quite a bit of alcohol. That'll be like your last layer of cleaning. So now, let's just drink this for a minute. I'm gonna set three coats, 10 minutes apart. Your first spray should be into an open area to make sure you clean out the nozzle. Start with spraying top down, so you wanna coat the whole top surface. Okay, now this is gonna be a super light coat, so I'm about eight inches away, one pass, two passes. That's all you need for the first coat. That's it. You can see it made a slight difference. Now we're gonna come back in about 10 minutes and we'll do another one. Back for the second coat. Again, spray, clear the nozzle. Okay, so another coat starting at the top, so we coat that top layer there. And then one straight across, one straight back. All right, and the reason we're going so light on these first few coats is because our last coat is gonna be a wet coat. And that wet coat is what's gonna make it super glossy and kind of match in with the rest of the car. Everything's looking good so far. Take another 10 minute break. Coming into that last and final wet coat. Okay, clear out the nozzle. Top down so we cover that top edge. And then you need one, two, three, four, five good passes and that's it. That's all you need. Just make sure everything looks even. And you're gonna notice some orange peel when you look at it in the reflection. Let's see if I can get a good reflection shot here. There you go. You'll notice the orange peel. Most of that goes away as the paint dries. So let's stop back. Well, you can see there's still some reflection to it. I'm gonna go close my garage doors. It's getting a little windy out there. All right. These are labeled right and left. Again, let me plug them in. red lid on it but don't worry don't don't no, don't worry about it. I want to get your I don't want you to get your thingy dirty so I'll take care of it for you. Um dad put in dark lights on that. Oh you like that cheating. You like it? Yeah. 